tomorrow because problems they say will never finish but the human being does finish finishes at one point in time so what you should tell yourself is that no matter what i'm going through today tomorrow there will be light good afternoon dear televiewers it is uh with great delight that you i welcome you to this another edition of in the heart of the city for this afternoon for this thursday happy thursday to all of you all those who are seated in front of your tv screen and watching us good afternoon you wake up in the morning and you just pick anything away there's some other days you have to plan depending on your for the day uh, you know what you have to do oh. Okay. So it's an honor. <laughs> and uh, the day that she's going back to her culture. Okay. Miss B, I would like you to dress maybe one day like you dress in Southwest region. You know, the Bakure people. Oh, yeah. You know. Serious. I think I'll do that one of these. Yes, maybe. I'll uh, take me back to that marina. Oh, come by the house there. Mm -hmm. And then you tie a head scarf on top. No, we tie that one. I'll prefer to enter you know go with this. Okay. Yeah, but with the talon and the long hand cover. With the okay with heels. Yeah. Heels, okay. long hands and the cover too. Very long. In fact flushy. Okay, very, very long, very big. Yes, okay. We we'll obviously like to see that Miss B welcome to in the heart of the city. Thank you, Bill. Good afternoon, good afternoon, my friend. Good afternoon, Miss B. And to our colleague ones, we say good afternoon to them. And of course, you know, uh happy Christmas. You know, Merry Christmas. Um, already? Yes. I'm already in the saga. <laughs> we're already there, we already see the what's the uh accessories that has to do with Christmas. Mm -hmm. The Christmas tree so on and so on in fact you know and it's still my best month so this is one now yes i know miss was born at the beginning of the month of december the same like Maricol. so i hope this that they'll bring serious. us two <laughs> healthy cakes you know two very big cakes like this for us to eat please people should be preparing for that because i'll be preparing my mouth <laughs> today is the 25th of november that means in a month in the month's time that is day by day miss b just bring me to remember day by day will be on the 25th of december but <laughs> This one, that chicken is very expensive like that. It's going to be very difficult for many people. And as we talk about gadget, I saw this thing that they put, I don't know if it's soap, they put it like that. They check like this, then they, the balls come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bubble up some. Yes. You know, mostly children use it. No, I saw it and I was like, I was really watching and it's about to feel that I'm a kid. It's <laughs> a season and I must enjoy, you know, this season in all its, you know, mm. facets of manifestation. Mm -hmm. If I need to, you know, bubble up also, mm -hmm. is that it? Hey, it's not that drink that's called. No, it's not, it's not a drink. It's not a drink. <laughs> okay, yeah. If it, you know, water balls, I need to do it also. Okay, you do it. Okay. Miss B too wants to do it. You know, when the kids in the house will be doing it, she too. Yeah, She'll buy for them and then all of them. Okay, Miss B. You want to get fully into the saga of the Christmas yeah, like every other person. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, uh, Miss B. I turn over to you, Marco. Uh, happy Christmas. Let me say it that way in advance <laughs> because Miss B has just gotten. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Happy Christmas too. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Miss B has brought Christmas, mm -hmm. so I'll uh, say happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas. Good afternoon, so <laughs> Good afternoon to you, to Santia. Thank you. And to all those who are just joining us. Santia, I hear you guys talking about Christmas. Honestly, to me, it's still far. It's to me, it's still You know, far. we used to have this phobia, this uh, this excitement when it had to do with Christmas. Few when is days. Going old now? Uh, you know, you when know. When is going old and leaving this thing to order? To, to <laughs> it just needs to grow young. <laughs> Boy I'm telling you, you need to be with him in a second. Anyway, I'll try. Thank you. Because
because you know kids generally when they are doing it and their parents are not mm. with them they are wondering they are really bored what's like, wrong, wrong? Mm. yes as in this thing that is really enjoyable like this mm-hmm. and you are refusing mm-hmm. so it's it's kind of it's a it's a fun filled moment honestly and it's important for us to always accompany our kids mm. but so tell me i'll not talk about this before you talk about the what you had to talk about, i want to ask you what's your traditional attire how, how do you dress is it the same like Miss B, Kaba? Well, I'm a little bit further from her. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm not in Kaba. Yet. I like it when it's um, um it's the two, you know the two and mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the, uh, yes, like the Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, style. the Yoruba woman. Yes, where you wear the, you tie the wrapper mm-hmm. inside, then the other one on top, you can now just tie it. Not necessarily the, the normal the tie. tie. Because that one can fall. Okay, so you yeah, tie it. So I like the other one where you no, I have a problem with that one because I don't know where the the place has to stand. Mm. That. You know, generally <laughs> you need so much. Mm-hmm. You need so much. Honestly, to date, I'm still not able to. Yes. Because when I wear it, I always see my moving. Mm. Yes. <laughs> By the time I'm getting to destination, mm. I really don't know where the head is, the tail uh-huh. is anymore. Uh-huh. So it's it's complex. But our mothers are always there to call her mm-hmm. attention. attention. So I remember my mother was telling me that, oh, pull it this way. She'll give you secrets like, when you hold it like this, be sure that the two are all at the mm-hmm. same level. Like, look from down mm-hmm. like this. Then you hold it like this. See, it's too much spots, honestly. That's why I just decided that I'll just tie the thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> I just tie and I move on. Okay, Michael, just move on. All right. Okay, Cynthia B, I wanted to rather talk about uh, this unfortunate situation that happened in you know, a mm-hmm. in the southwest region mm-hmm. yesterday. I, I really felt so heartbroken yesterday, honestly. I, I had a very... According to the information we got, is that this child couldn't make it, mm-hmm. and he passed on mm-hmm. as well. So it's really, really heartbreaking. My prayer is that this should come to an end because I think we've seen it so much. The show is so much already, mm-hmm. and it's high time we start thinking of pausing and saying no to blood. Maybe we should start thinking of saying no to bloodshed. True. Because maybe when we say no to war, the message is no, not it doesn't it's not, it's not that clear. Exactly. It doesn't get to yes. do to the people one. So let's say no to bloodshed. Because imagine you know when we're still growing up, when you see somebody's blood on the on the road, honestly you would take like fifty meters away. Yeah, you stand very far exactly. before you look. But see how we, we now play with blood. We just have the impression that death now is like a, a joke or a movie mm. we are watching. Human life doesn't mean anything to nothing, anybody. Nothing at all. And this has gotten to a stage where uh, when we see this, because I remember listening to uh, a preacher about two weeks ago mm. who said, she's a Cameroonian, and she was saying, when you are on, on social media, there's something about social media nowadays, is that when you see something like what we, mm. we experienced mm. yesterday, you are eating while using your left hand to to put mm, maybe to look for an emoji change. of tears or an emoji of I don't know sadness, sadness mm. yes and you are you you continue eating. She said it's like all of this is just that it looks so normal. It's becoming normal, which is dangerous because how we look at death because death in its own in, as a whole is mysterious, mm. as a whole it's hurtful, but intentional death is another pain again that mm-hmm. you can't measure so she said the, the, the lightness with which we, we carry these things about is becoming dangerous in our psyches mm-hmm. because at some point you start looking at like maybe you pass somewhere and you see someone killing another and you know mind you know you'll be like something yes, normal that this is something really normal please i'm really praying i don't know who i'm talking to right now but i'm just saying it even if it's just joining the baptist in the wilderness I'm speaking in the wilderness that it's enough, enough of this, and the comfort, my comfort goes right out there to the parents. 
children is really hurting. And rest in peace, these young souls who only went to school, they didn't go anywhere, they didn't go to steal because sometimes you mm. see people who that you are like, okay, you look for your mm -hmm. death. But what did these children do? They only went to school. That is true. You know, this comes uh, one year exactly after we witnessed that of Kumba. Mm. One year exactly. You see, the exactly. This thing is becoming really alarming, and we wonder what is happening. Somebody say no, uh, the population have come out. I heard somebody say that they have to come out and say no. I wonder if the population has to take care of this. Those who are in charge of this have to stop this as soon as possible. We didn't want to bring sadness in the face of anybody this afternoon. It's just a call attention of the, all those who are in fact are facing this situation because there's so many people in the southwest and the northwest region that go through this every day, bloodshed every day. I, I watched a video this morning of somebody say this is how Bamenda is. You no, know, he, he did a gunshot boom. They just stand up and they say boom, boom, boom. you have to go under the bed. Imagine the kind of life that people live there. They live a life of fear. Anytime there's gunshot because a gun can get through the wall. So you need to lie down so that it doesn't touch you. Absolutely. It's nothing that is fun. So we have to take a precaution. Our question for today, can a man marry a woman who ends more than him without battling with inferiority complex? Can a man marry a woman who ends more than him without battling with inferiority complex? That will be our question of today, our question of discussion today. We have so many men that are married to women. But at one point in time, the woman maybe she earns a better, she has a better job than you do, and she begins to earn more than you. Or before you even get married, because of the love, you say no. Even if she earns more than me, there is no problem. I'll still get married. But in the long run, do you think the man will suffer from inferiority complex? That is our question of discussion. There we go to our business. We started with Guevas. We will continue with that equally. And uh, kitchen, Miss B did rice and stew for us. I guess we'll do something, maybe a rice stew, but she will tell us when that time comes for health. How do you prevent toothache? That is the package that we will have, we'll have to brush up for you this afternoon in the program in the heart of the city. My call is as you're already there, I want to just start with you with a question for this afternoon. Do you think a man can marry a woman who ends more than him without a battle with inferiority complex? Yes, I a man. It's possible. Okay, it's possible. Mm. Okay, it's tell possible. us more. Well, it's possible in the context where the man too has nurtured his man. Okay. Yes, to be that kind of person that accepts when someone is bigger than them. Okay, the mindset. Okay. Mm. Yes, because many people, many people will say, "Oh, I can go me in any context." Eh? But there are contexts and there are contexts because some people are like, "I'm flexible. I'm mm. very flexible. I accept any." situation mm -hmm. but there are some situations that when you are faced with them you are like is this how it was supposed to be mm -hmm. because you are not that close to it so now it will depend on the woman too the woman okay yes, it will depend on the woman firstly it will depend on the man's mindset mm -hmm. secondly on the woman how does the woman treat them okay yes even though even though she's the one that is earning better mm -hmm. than the man is how does she treat the man because there are some women in fact, humans as a whole. I will just start from humans. You know, we are human beings, mm. so some things you are there that cannot possibly just get mm. away with. Santia, there are some people that they just need to have an additional 5,000 francs in their pocket. Okay. And it's like they have the impression, that's, they give the impression that they are on top of the world. Mm -hmm. Like even their work changes. changes. Even their way of talking changes. Their manners, they lose manners mm -hmm. because they are feeling like I am there already. Mm -hmm. With 5,000 francs, you are there already. By the time that 5,000 francs finishes, then you understand that reality is there, is in front of you. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying so because if you can handle such little, I mean, minute things, then in the marriage, mm -hmm. it will be a little thing. It will be yes. But if you can handle it this way, I'm saying, then there is no way the man will be happy. Okay. Because generally, as women, the best way would have been, the best way would have been that let the man work. Let him, in fact, let him earn bigger. Mm -hmm. And let the woman just earn maybe slightly lower. Lower, yes. Yes. But now that it's the opposite happening, the woman's attitude, women have the tendency, well, I'm a woman, so I will not speak for <laughs> her. Women have the tendency of having authority sometimes when they know that they are in charge. But money brings power, I recall. So mm. money. 
that's what we're saying yes money brings power mm. but some people abuse the power okay and most of the times women handle it poorly I don't have any problem against my sisters this afternoon. But you're a woman. She says, talking like yes, a woman. <laughs> yes, but I'm saying some of these things because sometimes I, I am guilty sometimes because there are attitudes that you put up because you have the money and you're like, I can I can pay my bills, I can pay my telephone bills, I can pay my what's that automobiles mm-hmm. and all of that. So all these words, when you feel like you you can pay all these things, the man practically comes in just like I don't know how I can put it. I don't want to be mean this afternoon, but the man just comes in like someone who comes to accompany you. Oh shit! Exactly. <laughs> so you came up on your <laughs> so you, so you can imagine that kind of context. Yeah. So that's where I said it would depend solely on the woman. There are some women that are very conscious of the fact that the man is never he doesn't have confi- confidence in himself. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are some people like that naturally. Mm-hmm. They don't. Yes, yes, they don't. They need that. You should push them. Yeah. So if you, the woman, you are aware that you have a kind of husband or you have a kind of man in your life, then you keep pushing them down instead of lifting them up with your words. Then he will hit it. He will hit it. So for me, it's possible if the woman understands that my man is a big baby for me. So I just need to keep treating him like a big baby. Even if I want to shout at him. I remember somebody saying that if you have a husband or a man who eats poorly, as he choose porn, mm. like he choose like a big, a big. Mm-hmm. Instead of you telling him that, oh no, look at you. Every time you're treating like a big, eh, that one you have already broken. Yeah, exactly. One. Now he, he said the the best way is that tell the man that, you know, I baby, I really love the way you you always enjoy my meals. That's it. Start from there. I love the way you enjoy my meals, but my problem is that you know that we cannot. You cannot eat the way you're eating like this in the house. You cannot eat like this mm, in public. public. That's all. You've already passed the message. And he will take it in a nice way because you started with a compliment. So the same way you are very wealthy or you have your bigger salary and you're treating this man poorly Mm -hmm. with your salary, you also take it from a bad end. I like that part, uh, Maricol, that you use uh, the choice of words to matter in how you tell the man this thing. But, Maricol, we are in a society where some people believe a man is not man enough. If his wife earns more than him, it means that he doesn't work hard enough to be able to dissolve some kind of things. Very true. I wouldn't deny that one. But uh, I will not deny it because many, we have heard many women say that, oh, this man is just a good for nothing. Mm-hmm. Man, yes. They are referring to their husbands. Yes. yes. They are not even referring to someone else. They are husbands and they are saying it to strangers. Yes. He's the good for nothing. And if you go deep into that statement, you discover that she's the one taking care of most of the responsibilities yes, in the house. Yes, she's practically the breadwinner of the exactly. house. Exactly. So in that context, it's obvious that they will say that way. That's why it will be quite complex. That's why I started by convoking, convocating women. Mm-hmm. That if you if the, the woman, you understand that power is just, it's just, it's just timely. What connects you and the man is about love no. and understanding. Mm-hmm. When you lay emphasis on that one, I think that the rest of the things will fall in place because even the respect God is asking us to respect mm-hmm, our, husbands. our husbands, it will come in naturally because once you respect him, even inside your well, he would just flow with you naturally. Mm-hmm. That means inside that respect, he will love you. Mm-hmm. He will serve you. He will be responsible around you. Mm-hmm. So the, the inside respect, there are a lot of things that are hidden inside. So if you are the woman, the breadwinner of the family, and you notice that maybe your man has weaknesses mm-hmm. that he's lazy because there's something like that yes they're very yeah lazy once they notice that uh, the woman is a pushful woman they start sleeping they don't do anything yes they are just like she's uh, she's a lioness she can she can and they're killing you with these adjectives and you're killing yourself while you're going to work <laughs> but at one point in time that's why you see some women yeah. do dread disrespect themselves. absolutely so this this uh, this this uh, approach i gave doesn't mm. match with um, all men yeah. yes <laughs> at all because there are some men that are really useless in quotes that's they don't have that means they don't do anything they don't add anything as value in your life mm-hmm. the only thing they add our kids. Our kids. Yes, yes, that's the only thing. Yes. Kids are more responsibilities even. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mariko. Oh, okay. I'm coming back to you. I turn over to Miss B. Uh I'll continue with you with the question, Miss B. Can a man marry can a man marry a woman who earns more than him without battling with inferiority complex? Yeah, I want us to talk about the ego of the man. Yeah, 
Okay, thank you so much for being there. The ego of the man. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'll come back to your precious question, You know, I want to first of all say a big yes. Okay. Okay, big yes. There's Especially with this generation now, when men will see it as an added advantage to them, even. Okay. To have a woman who earns more than them is a blessing, even. Mm -hmm. It's an added advantage. You are, in fact, that guy was blessed from birth. Okay. Especially with this generation. Now, now today. Yes. So those look at it that way, they function without any problem mm -hmm. because it's not in the human soul. So uh, I think this morning, Marika, we were mentioning the woman in Canada, the Cameroonian woman. Yes, the Cameroonian woman. woman. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, initiated. Yeah, mm -hmm. and in the scene, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. So such women, what if you marry just maybe uh, a banker? Mm -hmm cannot compare the two of them True. in terms of finance. It's an added advantage. It is a blessing for such you know, men. In fact, the men who marry women who earn more than them know that you were blessed from your mother's womb. Miss B, so men are very lazy. Eh? Thank I'm coming. Okay, you're coming. Well, you're blessed. Traditionally, it's a curse. Thank you so much. And that's why my focus is the generation now. The okay. things we imagined yesterday, they are no longer the same. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you are speaking here now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, things have changed. Gone to school, uh, yeah. education. And so the yesterday is not today. Not so many men will see that as mm -hmm. my ego is being touched. Mm -hmm. Except those villagers who are still living, you know, the the, the primeval times of the their ancestors. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But this today, where everything is advancing, even women are going to school, and she's earning more than you, only few men will look at it this way. From my own point of view. True, men, yes. But now, Aside that, there are those who will see it, you know, as, you know, a forum to eat. Yes, a forum to eat, like, no, after she, she works, I don't need to yes, work. <laughs> a forum to consume. Mm -hmm. A forum to make my poverty stricken family. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Yeah, especially when they coming from very you know sad background. Exactly. I said sad, I didn't say anything. Poor and <laughs> especially when they are coming from very sad backgrounds. This is this is good. And so they will use that now to build their own family. Yeah, to build on their and some of them may continue with their woman. Some to me I don't abandon their woman halfway and they've gotten one. But where there is true love, I'll come back to it. Mm -hmm. Real love it's possible and so i want to base you know my argument now on the fact that it will depend i think Marike Monko said something on the woman yeah. depend yeah mm -hmm. yeah it will depend on who is in front of this situation how you approach it mm -hmm. and so on how you approach it how you handle it because there are lots of women the who men uh who are any more than they are women the the men it, there's nothing like just a few women. No, women are advancing. Women are in you know, they are pushing. positions. Mm -hmm. Women, women today, even you understand. And because women are, you know, advancing, even in the Senate, even the National Assembly, the Parliament, mm -hmm. you understand, and so on. That is why the world is advancing. I tell you, if the women were still back when, now you understand why in those days. The, it, was like not, it was not the way it was. Mm -hmm. So, talking about ego, it has to do with the man now. Mm -hmm. If it's, you know, a man that is free and open, who know the times, and who is real, is possible. Mm -hmm. But if you are fake, you are behind the woman for a motive, it's not possible. That's why you are battling with ego. That's why, but where there is love and the two of you understand yourself, especially you, the woman, you understand, oh, come on. That's one of the best marriages even. Because it's a blessing for a woman to be of this financial value to her family. With the much, I didn't say little, mm -hmm. that she ends. Uh, she ends she's the one that ends, you know, uh, bulk of, you know. So, ego has to do with the individual mm -hmm. in position mm -hmm. of this woman. So, please, my only interest right now is if you're a man watching and you're in this situation and you're living fine with your wife, and go on. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. It's a, in fact,
they come and insult. They will tend to insult the husband and say he's not man enough. Thank you. I will heal Binda, you understand. And he now, uh, I will start with this saying, oh, maybe someday your husband may leave you, mm. your family will never mm. leave you, and so on. At this point in time, if you're a lady watching, and you are my husband, we are together, how many first of all, when he leaves me at that time, <laughs> then I'll go back to you all and say So there's no need to have family there shares more? No, even if she says it. Mm. You, the woman, I know will say, oh, please be wise, don't be. There's not be wise. Things can, you know. Yeah. yeah it's the world. Even if but you're wise, it can still to, happen. There, it has to do with you taking your stand mm -hmm. as to what you want in life and what you have chosen mm -hmm. and how to deal with it. So family has nothing to come to it other Or you, the family, coming to, you know, this is the secret. Oh, you earn more than him, he wants his role in this house and so on. You feed him in and so on. The day he will not be there, go back to the family and ask 5,000 francs. You say go back to your husband. Minus that even, how many of them will give you? Mm -hmm. No, seriously, let's be honest here. How many of them will, will come to your pain to help you financially and so on? But Whereas the are the people who destroy? Will, this thing has to do with you, then you need your be Let me say, Miss B, if you are the one like Linda, what would you do? At this point in time, he has not yet left mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Don't let me bear the risk. Mm -hmm. I will stand with him. Mm -hmm. It's my salary. I did the ones working it for me. Mm -hmm. Just be smart. This world, they're the ones that smile. We will try to, you know, pretend I care for you. Are the ones who are instead trying to see that you fall. You fall. And go back to the Bible. A man's enemy. I remember. That is, yes, what is it? My family Stand there. The day he leaves, okay, it was meant to be there. I'm sorry, oh. It's my family. If you want to take me, fine. If you don't want to take me, okay. Do you what after all? They will take you, you know what? Salah, money. So money, yes, money. <laughs> they will still take you. So the the, the host of people who are coming, oh, you earn more than you. you uh, they are interested in that money, not you. They are interested in that go, not you. you. So that's it. The, it cannot be all perfect. But when the the storms come, the two of you should learn how to share one umbrella together. Survive this time Thank you. Kind of very, very important. Two of you are the, the people that are involved in this, and you will have to be able to get through the challenge. Miss B, if a man, if there's a man, let's take that there's a man that's suffering from this, how do you think he should do with the inferiority complex? Thank you. I just said it earlier before. If you know that you're married to this man, you are feeling so bad. Like, oh, yeah, you should be not gone ahead. And it's not too late to disturb somebody's daughter. Okay. Better you leave with it quietly. Mm. But if you have to use that to bring her pain, go and look for your own village that you earn more than mm. so that you'll be satisfied. That's because not, you want to dominate. And that's no love. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me? Yes, that's no love. No love because you're going to this is the reason why you're going to search for this girl. This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. There are some men out there who are just looking for that. That's what we are saying. Mm -hmm. So men are looking for, for them. They are after yes. girls who are ambitious. Mm -hmm. That's what we said. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. That especially this is to some men is an admit advantage. Exactly. It's it's a blessing. Those who understand one state to the other. When she reached there, the man said that the, the cable B has finish it's and that she should pay for it the mom was watching tv and they cut the cable you can imagine those kind of things that's why it's important to get married to somebody that is hard working like you if you get married to somebody that's just lax and like no since that she's working i don't it will become very difficult to cope in that marriage thank you miss b for your contribution this afternoon my recall and same to you thank you i hope that one person out there was able to learn one thing as far as this is concerned and if you find yourself in this situation miss b said it's you first it's you that's in the situation and you're the only one in control there so it depends on how you manage the situation marico said wife should respect their husband if you respect your husband even though he doesn't if it, no there will be no problem you will live in peace few minutes for us to go we'll just do a rush on the maricona business we do on weathers. Yes. I think we are going to preserve today. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. We're going to preserve today, Santia. Mm -hmm. And they will be talking about the preservation of guavas. It's going. It's really easy, you mm -hmm. know. With guavas, you, you can just drop. You can open that. Just be sure that you are not putting it in a plastic mm -hmm. bag. Spread it in an air-free room, okay. not airtight. Because if it's airtight, it might get rotten. It will get very ripe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you'll get ripe very fast. Since it's your business, mm -hmm. 
you to know how how long it takes for you to sell mm -hmm. so you know how the tendency is so you can base on that to take the quantity that is reasonable for you to say sell in say three days mm -hmm. four days and all of that you spread in a room that is air free mm -hmm. Put it in bags that are air free and then don't put it in the fridge for too long okay yes you can put it in the fresh part of the fridge then don't put it in the deep freezer because ice is going to completely destroy your fruit remember guavas are like fruit okay so once but there's it, some fruits that we put in the deep freezer it doesn't have a problem like like which one for example tomato uh, but that's that's <laughs> that one is quite complex to explain mm. unfortunately yeah. i'm not a, yeah. an expert okay. for that but it's not only a fruit, but it's equally a spice. Okay. Yes, it's also a vegetable. a vegetable. So there are many ways of handling it mm. that you can you can easily handle yeah, and yeah, you're done with yeah. it. But now with guavas, please don't put it in the deep freezer. Okay. And repeat again. Mm. Don't do. Don't because do. once you put it in the deep freezer, by the time you're you're defrosting it, it's no longer the same guava. Mm -hmm. The whole thing would have broken mm -hmm. down because the ice is going to kill the natural state of your guava. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I, I would like to emphasize on. And then aside that, Santia B, if you like guava juice. Okay. Yeah, oh, there's guava juice. Yes. Tomorrow we're going to do that. Okay. Well, it was just an eye, the tip of an iceberg. You were going to do the, the guava juice tomorrow. Okay. But that's another way of preserving dough. Because if you have it in big quantities and you're wondering how you're going to do, mm -hmm. go about this. You can transform your business into that too. Mm -hmm. That is, instead of just carrying what was all right and or overripe and throwing, you can decide that, okay, there's a site that I just sell, only guavas that are fresh. Then there's another uh, version of clients that I can tackle who will surely like what is juice. That is very, very correct. I didn't know there was guava juice. No, it's my very first time of hearing guava juice. Mm, on the market, we have even a produce that is that, but I just don't want to do their publicity right oh. now. But there is a produce on the market in a, in a bottle like mm -hmm. that. We just drank one. Yes, I saw it on okay, your table. Okay, made of guava. I'm, I'm a witness. I saw it on your table this afternoon. Okay. Yes, made of guava. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No, I'm thinking. Uh, when you talk about whatever juice, I'm talking about the seeds. Maybe are the seeds are green. Yeah, yeah they're all green. Yes. Is it the green or red? Green. No, whatever is red and green. Red, <laughs> no, the red one, the green you can't okay. because how how will you blend it? Okay. How hmm. will not even how will you make it sweeter? It is very it's, sweet. It's, it's the green one. No, the the, the, the one with the it is okay. Yes, it cool. You know, taste for everybody. Okay. So maybe your health. Those who have, you know, sugar problems, mm -hmm. they can take that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Mariko. Thank you, Miss B, for your contribution on the mm -hmm. the juice. Mariko, come and teach us how to do that juice. That will be tomorrow, Absolutely. I guess. <laughs> be mm -hmm. By the grace of God, we'll be together tomorrow again, and we will end with the uh, nguevers. Miss B, time for us to do kitchen. We started with rice. What do we do today? No, I was waiting for this moment. Okay. <laughs> so why Mariko was talking, you know, I was just like, God, you have the right to punish people <laughs> when they do evil. You know oh, why? No. You can never know the heart of men. Only God knows. Only God. Michael is busy talking to people. Michael, maybe he's thinking of her wife. <laughs> our wife is really thinking of your wife. I'm sure this is the same scenario that occurred the day that was about writing. He, you know, <laughs> rise in the price of, you know, uh, <laughs> Rice in the price of market I think. Mm -hmm. Miss B wrote the rice, rice. that we eat. It. Mm. <laughs> in the price this thing is haunting you. Yes, yeah, really haunting you. I love it, I need to work on that thing. Need to pay on that. I mean, it's called we rice. need to cast it out. <laughs> this is serious. So my call is talking right now. Miss B was busy thinking of this Hawaii that she's mm. about to prepare right okay. now. And it took her now to the day that she was asked, you know, in the conference to write, to write rice in the title. Instead of an S, she wrote C. We are cousins. Yes. No my C and S. Okay, thank you so much. So that's why you hear me talking about mm -hmm. God has the right to, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, to punish people when things are not going right. So it's an indication that even though we are smiling, it's be saying that when somebody is saying something, you know, stay with that person and stop thinking. I know that I was about coming to my wife. Mm. Anyway, why is too much rice in the world? Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, this wife I'm doing today is been suspecting of having this rice mm. more. But the problem I can't really know if we're there. Yeah, because I'm going to coconut rice. 
coconut rice. Yeah. Do I function as a production room and tell us we can go or not? I don't know. In production. All right, can we go? It's wise and it's going to be coconut rice production room. See, we can go. It's going to be coconut rice. We will need coconuts. We will need, you know, refine oil. Now, I will need just carrot and green beans. Carrot and green beans. No tomatoes. Because I really want the this coconut, you know, to be the tomatoes in this rice. Mm -hmm. uh, Carrot and green beans, so it's coconut. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm sure we have it there. So we we'll need, uh, I said no tomatoes. Good. Uh, we we'll need the uh, carrot, green beans, and a little bit of, you know, uh, leeks, if I may see. We we'll need green pepper. Now, I need small white pepper. Just small white pepper. White paper we put in this. It's white paper. No tomatoes, but white paper. White paper. Small white paper. Yeah, because I have a nice taste to bring into this. Thank you so much, Rosie. That's the coconut we're talking about. You see the grape beside it? We grate the coconut very well. Now, yummy. Thank you. We grate it well. After grating, now. Yummy. Oh, thank you for that the one. Maybe we'll spy over. I'm sorry to just walk in. Okay. Over the glass to see if you. You know, just see your meal over the meat. It's under control. Uh, it's under control. control. It's under control. It's under control for the rice. Okay, uh, I guess it's time for us to leave. Uh, tomorrow we'll come and talk on how to prevent the toothache and the home remedies Thank on you. how to do uh, that. It's time for us to leave. Uh, Maricol, I wish you a nice end of today. You. you know that rice, I was still looking at the images and I was thinking, I almost forgot I had to tell you bye bye. <laughs> Yes, the rice destabilized yeah. you too. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we're going to be fine mm -hmm. anyway. No, I thought that you would say you invite me over to go and eat the rice. No, I've not done that yet. <laughs> no, I'm still I'm hanging on on Miss B. On Miss B. Uh, uh, tomorrow to, is to bed. That tomorrow is birthday. I guess tomorrow we'll eat yeah. that rice. Absolutely. No, it's not my birthday. No, no okay. I know it's somebody special to you. You obviously want to. No. Okay, <laughs> yes, I think we should be counting on Miss B yeah, mm -hmm. because she's a, a rice specialist. I think she can do rice in all its forms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again, Sotia B, Thank for having too. this moment. And uh, good afternoon to all those who are just joining us equally. I want to wish you all the best, Miss B. Nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mariko. Miss B, I wish you a nice end of today, this Thursday. Hopefully, so we'll be together yeah. tomorrow. Of course, by God's grace. That's what I always say. Mm -hmm. Because it's God and no one else. Mm -hmm. But before we go, please permit us to take this text message that's coming from our own, you know.